Did you ever wonder what is the best way to share a link? I found something. I finally did it. I found a way to get rid of those really horribly long links. Allow others to not only view your presentation, but they can decide if it fits well for the class or not. Finally, you can have them get an instant copy. This is so much easier thanks to Sir Links a lot. And I am so happy I found this link. This was created by a teacher for teachers. His name is Kurt Schlebaum, and he is an educated, educate tech teacher, presenter, and maker, and a parent of two. He's also a Google trainer and innovator. So he is definitely one of our ed tech heroes. Thank you, Kurt. It is available only on Chrome. I have not been able to locate it on um, I, for iOS or for Apple. I only use Chrome, so I know it is available on the Chrome web store. And this is the photo of it. When you see it, you just put in Sir Links a lot, which I have connected to the presentation. So you just click it and you will be led over there. It's totally free, but at the beginning, it does prompt you for a donation. Remember, this is not mandatory. It's just suggested. And he takes uh, donations through PayPal. And let's see how this Sir Links a lot actually works. You can follow the link to the Google extension by clicking my version right there of the link and install it first to your computer. Once it's done, now you're going to have to find Sir Links a Lot by looking for it in the search bar. You go to your search bar, you will find it in the extensions link. You click on that link and pin it to your search bar. So you will be able to pull it up any time that you need it. Step two, we're going to have to find the Google Doc, PDF, or slide that you'd like to share. I think it's slides, uh, PDF, but I know it does work for docs and slides. I mean, it might be forms too. Um, pretty sure it could be forms, possibly PDF. Uh, you locate that in your drive, and I'm going to show you how it works with slides, since we basically only share slides within our group. First things first, you must name your presentation, and then hit the Save button. Name it, and then hit Save. Step three. You have to unlock it and allow others to view your slide. So you want to be able to take off this restricted button and then uh, unlock it. Because right now it's in jail and the only one that can see it is you. And if you share it like this, you will get a million emails of people requesting for permission to have your slides. The only other time you get that when it's in viewer is if the uh, school district has blocked uh, uh, emails outside of the school district. So if you are somebody that would like links or if you are downloading them, please do it through a Gmail and then enter it into your school district's email. Now, one neat thing that I actually just noticed today and is very important so that you know instantly if your slides are shareable or not is when you do look at share, there is a locked button here. This means it's locked and it is in restricted mode. Once you have unlocked it, it then has share and it is in a viewer mode. Make sure do not share it in the editor mode or they will be able to edit your 
hard work. Step six, make sure now only to share it to others by making sure it is viewer only. We do not want them to edit all of your hard work. This has happened to me recently and I lost all the slides and I had to go and beg everybody before I learned how to do version history, does anybody have a copy of my slideshow? So here is what it turns to when you click here, anyone with a link. Now you can save that if you want, just do not change this, leave it in viewer mode. This is where you're gonna see coming in, it'll say restricted, then you, as soon as you click it, it becomes viewer, then you're going to click done at that point. You will hit done after that. Once you've done that, you are now ready to use Sir Links A Lot extension. You will have to go back up into your search bar and you will see your pinned. As you can see, I have way too many pins. You will see your pins and you locate it. It's right there. He's the one with the hat. Step eight. This is my favorite part. You get to decide how would you like to share this link. For the group, template works best. Again, I said this earlier. This allows everyone to view it and make their own copies. Now, anyone that hits template, be informed, it is instantly going into your drive. It will not ask you, would you like to make a copy? That is the difference between forced copy and template. So for me, template is so much better for so many reasons. We can view it, I can use your links, I can leave you there, or I can click the template. This is a totally good game changer and one of my favorite things about this. Once you have done this, you're on step nine. Please copy the one in the middle, copy the shortened link. Copying the shortened link will give you now a bit.ly link. All of those really short links that we don't know where are coming from, where they're coming from. And we see people sharing them and it looks so much nicer than that link with a million additions to it. Share that one only. We would love to see those links. And it also saves us as um, editing all of or previewing all of your work that's coming in. If it's in a template mode, it all we have to do is just preview it very quickly. The old way was that we were actually saving all of this to all of our drives, which I have hate to tell you, I've already filled a couple of them. Um, and it's very expensive to keep playing for um, free memory or to free memory or to for storage with all of the companies. I have a one drive I'm already paying for. I do not want to pay for the Google Drive too. Now, again, going back to step nine, it is easy as clicking copy shortened link. <gasps> wow, I've done it. Yes, once you've done this, click on the new extension, copy the shortened link. I think nine and 10 are exactly the same. Yes, this is what happens when you do this at the end of the day. We'll have one less step. So you've copied your shortened link, step 11, 10, which is not 11, this is only 10. Your shortened link now is ready to use. Ta-da! From that really, really long link, we now have a very short, wonderful link with the bit.ly link. Now, your viewers, your viewers, which I have to correct again. Again, this is late during the day when I've I made this. Now your viewers or students can make their own copies by just pushing use template and it goes to the drive automatically. And my favorite part about it is that we can actually view your entire presentation before we decide if we want to use it or not. This is brought to you by Tech Tips with Teacher Brenda. Please don't forget to su subscribe and click on the bell to keep on getting all of these tips and tricks. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your Saturday. I will see you next week.